Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the second part of the advanced tutorial. Today we'll be skipping through some new feature. Uh, this was uh, tutorial. This was uh, the scenario of the tutorial before uh, the advanced tutorial, and now we'll be skipping through some uh, advanced function functions. Some advanced trigger like it will look like uh, a little bit the scenarios of. Age of Ethology is a default one Not very likely but a little bit likely and Let's start with the features. So last time if I remember We put we created a very nice level. So in the cinematics they are going to attack us Yes, and We must delete these colossus this were just for testing and the main role is to kill General Milagius and we have our first objective to kill this fortress. So now we'll be adding to the cinematic our real voice. Like I've recorded uh, before making the video my voice and you must save it with a, an mp3 folder an mp3 folder and save it in the program file uh, Age of Ethology the Titans you, uh, and you go to the sound and save it and when you save it it must be an mp3 must be an mp3 uh, file and when you save it you can go uh, you can go to cinematics and add your real voice so I already save it and will add my voice in the sound file name you go sound and sometimes it lags and crash the game I hope it doesn't this time. I go here sound, I save it in music. All of these are in my computer AOM. So you go on my computer and save it wherever you want. I created a file in the sound music custom. It is called custom. And here I saved some one. So the first one is for Hippicon. And we'll put it here. And when we play the level, you will hear my voice. So this is this one. And here we have the sound file name, and as I remember, I saved it Arcantos, I think. Yes, so this one, I think Arcantos. I hope this one because I've created some more scenarios before this one and saved many voices. Okay, so now we've saved my voice, and when we start the scenario, uh, my voice will be heard. So this is uh, a feature that you can use to make some more realistic levels, like the levels in AOM default. And now we'll cover some more triggers. So, last time we did the uh, trigger convert and uh, trigger attack, uh, we'll cover some more. Now, if you want to add some relics in the, in the map, like relic is, at, is added in random map and are in uh, some Scenarios in Age of Mythology is a default one, so we'll add some relics. Spread it around the map, and we'll try to like put some soldier to defend them. So I think the player three is without AI, so we'll put here some soldiers, like three fanatics here and here and here, and here we'll put a shrine. And we, we like we want to add a, a special improvement in the relic. You know that there are many types of relic. We want a specific file, a specific type of relic. Like in the game, uh, if you don't add a specific uh, relic type, the relic type will be random. So I'll tie, I'll add a group called relic, and here I insert a trigger like. Here the trigger will be named relic one, or all relics. I'll put it all in the one trigger. It's more fast relic, not relics. All relic, always. And here we put relic force, and we select. And what the what we want the relic to do? It the relic can improve your an improvement, can let you improve an improvement. Or give you a relic, a relic type like 
the the singer of tears will improve the count of the houses shingles of tears and the second relic like I wanted to change my age why not that's right so a3 Aphrodite the relic will change uh, the age why not you can do that and we go to the third one the Ankh of Ra which give you free favor and this is for the relic force now if you want to you can change your hero name like if you want perhaps Arcantos to be your name you can change his name I change Arcantos to RTS Gamer X I know it sounds a little bit weird but we'll try I'll put it in the ready group I, or I create a group so create a group name and you click always and change name so you can change the name of Arcantos I'll put RTS Gamer X and I will change the name of my simulation you can do that also just let me find it so it must be here set simulation name I think it's called so yes it's here and I change my simulation name to the if you don't want the Pantheon Zeus so you can change your simulation name like I want let's say Greeks okay so this is what what the set simulation name does and yeah so uh, if you you want you can add some reinforcement troops to help you like in some levels like the level I think all is not lost this is the one Odysseus gives you an army and help you and there is also I think some more levels so if you want to do as Atlantean army for example if you want to do that you must uh, use the uh, cinematic blocks the cinematic blocks are in embellishments and here they are cinematic blocks here they are and let's say the army will be here so you put here cinematic blocks it must be the player you wish to give him help cinematic blocks In this type of cinematic block I don't like it so because it can't be selected you put here some cinematic blocks like how many you want and when perhaps you want after 30 seconds like perhaps you want after 30 seconds the reinforcements will come so I'll call the group help and we'll go here and in the triggers in help we add a trigger and we put a timer after like 30 seconds so 30 seconds it's gonna be not 30 seconds 30 minutes is gonna be uh, more than that I think after 50 minutes after 50 minutes uh, we put change unit type and after 30 seconds like these blocks will become uh, Hippicons. These blocks will become hippicons, and the others here will become. 
as I was here it become like up lights up light and the others in the back I won't select them all because I didn't put them in a good order but whatever I just want to show you the trigger and the others will become what do you want let's say Petrobras ok so here are here after uh, 90 minutes the troop will become uh, reinforcements but you see in most levels there is a countdown timer so how to do it it's very simple so here we go and create go here in the condition always and you will see something called counter at timer so you name your timer it doesn't matter what's the name the message here you put for example reinforcement will come or help and you don't put two points because it because it would automatically to put two points so if you put two points there will be two two points and you put the timer to start at zero for example and we stop at uh, 900 or it start at 900 and we stop at zero so I think this one is better and what it will uh, no yeah yeah so it start at 900 and end at zero so after it end at zero you will uh, know that the reinforcement will come so the timer is the timer is very important in the game yeah so that's some triggers i didn't cover in the first in the first tutorial let's see some conditions if you are playing in a random map game or whatever if you want the condition to if all buildings dead or if, if like in the level 5 so if you destroy all the buildings if all buildings dead you win or all buildings and units dead but if you choose all units and building or all buildings you must uh, destroy the walls so be careful the, do not put walls or you have to destroy all the walls and if you put many so this will be annoying if army is visible to player so if you want like you put a troop and you want uh, if we see it so we gain it so these are and if you used I got power got power used uh, if an army is distant to point if an army is dead like I use it very yeah so there are some decent objectives you can read them all they're very easy to use and uh, let's see if there is uh, but uh, like I won't cover all the conditions because it's very hard to let them all fit in one scenario because conditions are not like triggers I'll do one condition here so like there is here uh, let's say an inheritor to player 4 and he's lost and he's lost if he is visible to you visible to player he'll become yours so convert and we'll send a message so if you choose spoof, spoof chart spoof chart you can like send whatever message you want for example uh, like and here you are how do we write this not and here you are well, it's difficult a little bit to write so hop right Hey Arcantos. We found this lost.
this unit and yeah so this will do like when we see it it will become ours so when he is visible to us it will become ours like make sure we put this here. let's make sure it's okay so yes and so finally we'll put here some villagers villager greek and like in most uh, levels they start from the beginning to gather wood so how do you do this simply go here uh, unit work not in the condition uh, here unit work you select them and you select the target unit so here we want the trees and you start the scenery so this is how your villager will work you put the target unit mine if you want or the farm and if it's fishing ships you put the ships so that's all we need to do i test the level quickly i test the level quickly and we'll see the results i'll put here some soldiers yes just to find the anhari quickly and here i'll put some hero some heroes and what we did here yeah so i won't wait like 90 minutes so i'll i want it 15 minutes so like i'll do the timer a little bit 50 seconds doesn't matter. yeah so we'll test Uh, the voice isn't that good because my recorder isn't that good so you need to download a very good recorder for the voice so the for for your voice to become very clear but if you listened well so my voice is here and the units are working and here's a relic a single of seals like I like I said to you uh, here is the Ankh of Ra and we will see this unit and he became ours so everything is working fine and the reinforcements have come the reinforcements have come so everything is working fine I think and there's only a picon because I think we selected all the all the units, so everything is working fine. And yeah, so that's all I need to show you on this level. Hope you enjoyed and hope it was helpful. And this tutorial is I think is very good. And we'll see you later. Goodbye.